I've gone ahead and made all five of my slides and now we need to go back and add images. It's really simple and I'm going to start by adding one to my plain lays um, slide. Now I don't know if you noticed or not but this text is really small so I'm going to make it a little bigger. I can just go up here to the increased font size and I think I'm going to make it about 16. And then I'm going to go to insert my picture. Insert image is what I want to go to. And if you're using your own pictures, like for instance, if you're going to do a presentation about your pets and you want to put pictures of your pets in, you can upload from your computer. I'm going to search the web because I just don't seem to have any pictures of Lay's potato chips on my computer. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to search for Lay's potato chips. And there's my classic right there. So I'm going to click on that and choose insert. Now, if I wanted to make this a little more fill it out on the slide so that um, so that the slide doesn't look empty over on this side. I can click and hold and drag the picture over some. Now I'm going to add another picture to this one, the cheddar and sour cream. I'm going to do insert image and search the web again. And it would be better if I spelled it correctly. Okay, there's my cheddar and sour cream. And I'm going to insert again. Now this time my image is a little large. So I'm going to resize it. I'm going to go to this little blue square in the corner. And when my pointer changes, to the double headed arrow, I can click and drag it at a diagonal. That way it stays proportional. If I click at the top and drag down, the picture gets all squatty. And if I click on the side and drag over, it gets mushed. So clicking and dragging that corner diagonally keeps it proportional in size. So that's how you add images. Remember you need three of your slides need images, at least three. Um, and it should not be just an image. It should be content with an image that relates.